All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a more advanced version of Enum. And so to do that, let me uh, start a, a new project. I'll call this project the Fancy Enum Project. If you already have an Enum project, you can put it in there. All right, here we go. And once again, I'll create a class called Demo. And what I want to do now is I want to show you how to make Enums more interesting. And uh, All right, here we go. And last time we were together, we did like uh, enum, uh, what do we do, like days of week or something? What do we do? Days of week. And then we did um, like Monday, Tuesday, right? When, when, when is day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then like that. And I think the semicolon is probably optional here. I just put it in there. Let me just see if I did that right. Uh, I did not. Okay. You can't have it in the main. You can have it in the class. You can have it outside the class, but you can't have it in the main. All right, so that is what we learned so far. And then what did we say about the numbers that were associated with these enums? Mr. Alfredo, sir, can you tell me what is the number associated with Wednesday? Two. So it basically provides ordinal values here. And if I wanted to print the two, how would I do that here, Mr. Or Espyev, sir? If I wanted to print the value for Wednesday, which is a two, uh, let me get you started. Okay, sir, what do I put in here now? Like that, sir? I'm sorry, what did you say? Okay, who remembers? Okay, Ben, what do we do? So this is to print out uh, the whole thing? No, I just want to print out the number two for Wednesday. No, 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 no. I just want to do Wednesday. It's much easier. Mr. Joji? Okay, that's not going to do it, but let's, since you brought it up, let's try it. That's not what I want. Miss, uh, Miss Mila? No. Yes. Okay. Y yes, you could also do it like this. Yes, you could. You could go uh, dot values sub uh, two um, parentheses. Yeah. Um, that's not default constructor call, so you're gonna have to take ten points off, sir. Oh, what you were? What were you gonna take off? Seven. Okay. Uh, so that this should also work, but it's unnecessarily complicated. If you want information for Wednesday, just put in Wednesday. All right. So this is what we left off so far. Now, in some cases. We don't want to just use the numbers for the position. We want to assign some other numbers. Okay, we want to assign some other numbers. And so to do that, um, I'm going to have to turn the lights on so I can see my notes here. Hold on. Mr. Alejandro, you can still read that, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's look at this one. So uh, let's say uh, instead of days of week, let's say I have like uh, famous Yankee ball players, right? So I go Yankees here. And uh, let's say I go uh, Berra, 
uh, Barra, and let's say I go Billy Martin, right? And let's say I go uh, Babe Ruth, right? Ruth is here like that. Now, can anyone tell me the numbers for Barra, Martin, and Ruth? Anyone? The jersey numbers? Okay, that's eight, that's one, and that's four. Oh, no, not four. Uh, Ruth is, uh, what was Ruth? Hold on a second. Can't remember now. Uh, Babe Ruth was three. Okay. So let's say uh, we want to associate the following numbers with these ball players. Okay. We want to associate the number uh, eight with Vera, one with Martin, and three with Ruth. Now, obviously, if we just use the ordinal numbers, that's not going to work for us. So we need to modify this enum a little bit so that it, it uses these numbers also. Okay. So to do that, let me show you how you do it. Uh, we're going to come over here, and I'm going to space this out a little bit just to make it a little bit easier. And uh, the one other weird thing I'm going to do here, and this will take a little getting used to, is I'm going to put a semicolon right here, and I'll show you why I need to do that in a second. Because I'm going to treat this thing, this enum has a lot of features in Java that didn't have in older languages like C and C++. And the enum is almost like a class definition. And you can do things with enums that you can do with a class. And I'm going to show you that right now. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to associate some numbers with these things. And so I'm going to make actually what looks like a constructor call. And I'm going to go like this, uh, 8 for Barra. And I'm going to go uh, 1 for Billy Martin. And I'm going to go uh, 3 for Babe Ruth like that. Okay, and uh, you, that'll make sense in a second once you see uh, the rest of the code that I write here. All right, so what I want to do now is I actually am going to come over here and I'm going to go private int, a final int jersey number. Like that, almost as if it's a property of a class. Here it's a property of an enum. Okay, so very similar. I could have done this in a class, but now I'm doing it in an enum. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write a constructor for this enum. Now, you'll notice something very unusual about this constructor. And what we're going to do is we're going to say... Um, we're going to say... Now, if I go like this, that's not going to work out too well because it's going to be confusing as to which jersey I want. What am I missing in this statement here, Mr. Ajoji? Okay, so this should have a this on it like that. Hopefully, you remember that from last year, right? The this specifies this jersey number, whereas this jersey number over here is this one. All right, so I'm initializing in the constructor. What do you notice that's very unusual about the constructor? Yes, Ben. It's private. it's private. We never did that in CSA before. We actually don't want the user to call this constructor. We're going to call this constructor when the user accesses these things. And here are the constructor calls themselves. Notice that the constructor calls are happening inside the enum definition and not in the user code. Really funky, right? Okay, and then finally, if the user ever wants to figure out what the jersey number is, we're going to need a method. I'm going to let you write that method for me now. All right. Um, Mr. Franovic, sir, have you written your get jersey number method? Okay, sir, what do I put here? No, sir, I just want to retrieve it and return it to the user. Sir, do I need to put anything in here? Okay. Yes. Uh, look that up. I think there might be an add method, but I don't remember. Okay. Just look it up. Um, what do you think? Minus 15? What do you think? 
you can't be making up methods. That, that's like an added thing. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, what do I do now, sir? So you're going to call it on a specific enum. So like that. Okay. I, I, oh, you think that's too harsh? Well, for the first quiz. Okay, fine. Okay, okay, okay. Ten. All right, just take off the ten. All right. Okay. So uh, we've got all that now, and now we got to try this out to see if it works. So I'm going to go back to my main method down here, and remember, the main method could be in a different class definition, but I'm just too lazy. I'm just going to use this one right here. So let's uh, let's do this. Let's go um, uh, Yankees, uh, Yankees, uh, babe equals, and then what would I put on this side here to set it to the Yankee uh, babe here? Let's see. Um, who else am I called on, uh, Mr. Holler? So what do I put on this side to set it to be this one here, uh, this one? What do you think? Here, let me make it bigger for you so you can see it all, sir. Okay, what do you think? Sir, I want to set this variable to be this enum here. So what I want to know is what do I put on this side here to set it? Like I want to pick one of these three. I want to pick this one. So what do I put here? No. Uh, Mr. Mulcahy, what do I put here? Okay, like that. So now I've got Babe Ruth, and now I want to print Ruth's jersey number. So you try to figure out how to print Ruth's jersey number here, okay, using this Babe variable. Try to figure that out. Yes, sir. So it's a little bit confusing. The enum has all these data types defined in it. These are each unique data types in and of themselves. So what would you call these like their members? Um, they're members of this enum. I, I don't know what the official name is, but that's what I refer to them as. They're members of the enum. Okay. Uh, so I want to print Babe's jersey number. So what do I put here? Uh, Mr. Nikita, what do you think, sir? that okay let's try out this whole thing hopefully i've done that right and now you can see babe's jersey number is printing now huh apprehend <laughs> what were you apprehending who is this and then you wrote apprend too so i don't know yeah it's close enough that's what i thought I guess okay uh, all right, so uh, that's the jersey number. Now, here's the thing that confuses students, and I want to just put this out here because you need to sort of understand this right now. Let, let's say I put in, um, let's say I put in uh, Barra here, right? Now, if I run this, it's going to print the eight, right? So let's run this and try it out. Let's print it here. It prints the eight, right? You see that, right? Now, look over here. Look, what happens if I do this? Okay, discuss with your partner without trying it out, without trying it out. Discuss with your partner, what's going to print here? Is the eight gonna print or is something else gonna print? What do you think? Okay, Ms. Cognetti, what do you think is gonna print? Okay, what does ordinal mean? It means position. And what position is Barra in? Zero. So here, when I run this, it doesn't magically print the eight. It prints the zero. You ask for the position. There's the position. So my point is that when you do this trick, this fancy trick with the constructor and passing it the numbers, you get both values. You can use the position or you can use the special number. 
This is a great deal. Ben. No, that doesn't matter. So let me show you that here. Uh, where's the constructor? Here's the constructor, right? Now, if I was to put this up here, I don't think that's going to matter. Let me just make sure that's the case. Oh, I'm wrong. Oh, oh, okay. It has to be it has to be after this point, but it could be here. That's okay. Yeah, it has to be after this semicolon. Yes. It what? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So now I'm going to show you something that's very unusual about Java. You see how I associate these integers with these uh, jerseys, right? That with the ball players, it, it doesn't have to just be integers. You can associate anything. So I'm going to show you a different example now, uh, and this one here, uh, I'll call this demo two. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you some uh, pant sizes. These are pant sizes. Okay, so we're going to call this pant sizes. So I'm going to go enum pant sizes, right? Here are the pant sizes, and um, here, are the, here are the sizes. You got small, and I'm going to associate strings with these enums, and I'm going to say uh, um, lightweight, right? And then the next one is going to be medium, and I'm going to say European, okay? And then I'm going to say large, and I'm going to say uh, uh, heavy, okay? And I'm going to say uh, extra large, and I'm going to say fat, okay? It's like that. So you can see... Uh, and it doesn't even have to be a single word. It could be like, uh, I can put in here like, uh, uh, I'll just say slightly heavy like that. I could do that too. Okay, I could do that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo this entire exercise, or actually I want you to redo the entire exercise so that um, we'll call this, um, th this will be, this string will be stored in a variable called description. So please fill out the rest of this. Do the same thing that I did for the ball players, except do it for this uh, these strings. Please do that now. Call the the private variable. Call it description. Please fill it in now. Yes, sir. So on this element, you can make like ten, ten, seven, maybe in Java class, you can make this string new. Would you ever do that, or would you just do it? If you're, if you're saying that the, you want to do automatic code generation, that's always good. That's what you're asking me? No. Yeah. Like you can either create like a new class, enum. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Would you ever be doing this? Or? Yeah. So you can put an enum um, uh, directly uh, in, 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 um, Oh, you know what? That's probably not a bad idea. Let's just do that. I thought we wouldn't be able to put the main method in there, but it turns out you can put a main method in the enum also. Uh, Mr. Um, yeah, let's just do that. We don't even need a class. We don't need to put the enum in a class. We can just make it by itself. You can put the main method in here still. Mr. Schulson is right. There's no need for the class wrapper anymore. I had it in there for the main method, but you can put that in there, enum too, it looks like. So create a private variable, create the methods you need, create the constructor, create the test code. Yes. Uh, I don't know what the inheritance rules for enums are, Mace, but enums typically would be in a separate file if they were complicated like a class. If they're part of another class and only that class should have access, then it would be contained typically inside. Yeah. 
Yeah, so here, like if you were doing error codes and multiple classes would need to access it, you would definitely put it in its own file. Yeah, definitely would do that. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, Mr. Marriott, sir, what would the, the variable definition look like? I think I said description, right? Okay, whatever. And now I would like to know what does the constructor look like? Who has not helped me yet today? Miss uh, Miss Mila, what does a constructor look like? Okay, and uh, finally, uh, we need we need a little main method to. Oh no, we need access. We need access to the description. Otherwise, it's useless. Uh, Miss Teleska, can you tell me what the access method would look like? Okay, and then finally, we'll do a little test code here to try it out. Uh, sounds good to me, sir. How do they look? Uh, pretty good. There were a lot of careless mistakes, I would say. Also, I find it kind of funny that you put naked S and nearly zero people put string builder S. You took points off for that, right? No, just because it's the first quiz, but I will next time. Because too many people didn't. But, like, I had of type SH. I don't know where SH comes from. There were, like, all sorts of random stuff. Some people don't can't spell a pen. It's a little bit weird. Um, or something for add, like just know your method names. Uh, very common to say. <laughs> a lot of people think it's a very not a kid and build it. Every, this is like, I was showing Sam, almost everyone put S equals 